Rogue Rolling Thunder Imperial Stout, aged for nine months in Rolling Thunder barrels, coming in at 14% ABV. Fantastic sounding Imperial Stout. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. So we're back in the kitchen. We couldn't go drinking no beer on the beach, could we? What will people say? Right, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. And then we'll explain the beer along the way. What I love about this beer is it's in quite a big, it's a two pint bottle. That is 1.8 fluid ounces. So you're not gonna drink a 14% Imperial Stout straight away. So they put a swing top and a cap. So we'll cap it, get the cap off. There's the bottle cap. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, look at this. What a lovely looking beer. And then simply, when you have to go and do a shift in work like I have to do later on this afternoon. Cheeky beer at lunchtime. You can just... Oh, here we go. Sealed. 14% Imperial Stout. Put it to one side. Probably drink it within three days, I would say. So beer in the glass and we've got a one finger tan coloured head, lovely carbonation. As you watch the pour you could just see the carbonation chasing that head of the glass, it looked fantastic. Jet black beer, good lacing. Let's get the aroma. Unbelievable, unbelievable, stone the crows. Lots of cacao nib. Cacao nib, vanilla, chocolate, coffee, caramel. And then a lovely touch of that rolling thunder barrel. Now I'm gonna to get to the barrel in a moment. I'll just quickly touch on it now. It's been, it was first used, they're handmade barrels by Rogue and it they got a distillery. So they put their, what was it called? The barrel works, it's on this side. So it was previously used to age our dead guy whiskey. So you can get a touch of that whiskey, a little bit of that wood and a little bit of that vanilla. A touch of licorice. It's, it smells designed as raisin, plum, fig. Time to dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, Stone the Crows, absolutely Stone the Crows, what an unbelievable Imperial Stout. I'm going to be honest, always like to think that I'm honest, or as honest as I can be. When it came in the post, when I unboxed it, I thought, I looked at it and I seen a 14% figure on that and I thought... That's pushing it for an Imperial Stout. It's really pushing it. Um, it could be it could be just too much. Too much of... Uh, once I said it was whiskey barrel aged, I thought it's gonna be too much whiskey. Too much whiskey, but no. Absolutely no. Put that out of your mind. This 14% Imperial Stout is carrying the alcohol superbly. Absolutely superbly. Bitter. 
chocolate, bitter dark chocolate, bitter coffee, espresso. Vanilla, plum, fig, raisin, touch of whiskey, of course. Now I want to talk to you about that delicious mouthfeel. The beer just sits on the palate, sits on the inside of the mouth, and it's just a lovely richness. The mouthfeel is thick, dense and creamy. I don't think it would have worked if it was thin. It's not thin at all. It's rich, dense and creamy. I have got a name for this style of, of Imperial Stout. Some of you will probably know. I call it Scandinavian style Imperial Stout. When the Scandinavians, the Norwegians, the, the Norwegians, the Swedish, and of course the Danish, uh, when they're, and of course Finland, if they're producing Imperial Stouts, when they produce Imperial Stouts, they're always big, thick, dense and creamy. They always hold a fantastic head on the pour. Rich, deep, dark head, tan coloured, and then a lovely black body that, that's almost like engine oil. And Rogue have done it. Rogue have done it here. They, they've produced that wonderful, thick, dense mouthfeel. Have a look as I rock the beer back and forth. Let me turn the rogue sign over there a minute. Look at that. That is the classic sign. There's two things going on there in the glass. You can see it's developing lacing on the glass. And you can always also see that the carbonation is chasing the head of the glass. And it just looks fabulous. That's the denseness, the quality of the mouthfeel. You can see it there in the glass. You do get that whiskey. You do. It's a little burn at the back of the throat. And then as the beer passes down and into your stomach, you can feel a, a lovely, even on a July day. You see me over the beach. It was quite cold over there today. Brass monkeys, it was blowing a gale. It's warming. It's a warming sensation in the pit of the stomach. So, well, fantastic to Rogue, fantastic. Um, I think they've produced one mammoth, mammoth beer here. And, and I'm looking forward to 2018 already. Hopefully this is a yearly release. So, let's give this a read. I don't know where to start. There's two big descriptions here. Rolling Thunder Barrel Works is our barrel making operation located next to the Rogue Brewery and Distillery in Newport, Oregon. As the first brewery distillery barrel maker in the country, we plane, trim, join, joint, hoop, hammer, bend, toast, crows, bevel, shape, saw, sand and... What's that say? Cortidias? And char, Oregon oak in an effort to produce about one barrel each day. Rolling Thunder is a symbol of our dedication to doing it ourselves and staying true to the Oregon roots. I'm a carpenter by trade, so I understand most of the stuff that's going on here. I've never made a barrel in my life, I'm not going to admit that, um, and, and I probably never shall, but, but I understand some of the beveling and, and the, the, you know, the other things, shaving and the other stuff going on. About this beer. So, our 2017 Rolling Thunder Imperial Stout was aged for nine months in a handmade Rolling Thunder Barrel Works. Barrels previously used to age our dead guy whiskey. That's, that's what I was talking about earlier. This limited, one-of-a-kind Imperial Stout can be enjoyed right away or salad for years. Either way, it's our best shared, or oh, it's best shared amongst friends. 14% ABV. Do you know, I, I would love, I'd love to think that I could leave the cap on this now and leave it for a few years but it's going to get oxidized there's just far too much oxygen here uh in the bottle now so just wondering what i could do i'd love to keep the bottle maybe i could do something maybe i can think of it. maybe you can, you can suggest something in the comments box of the video of how i can maybe i could 
dilute it into a 330, not dilute, dilute is the wrong word. Maybe I can condense it into a 330 bottle and recap it. I've got a capper um, and recap it and see if I can get a few years out of it. Do you think that'll happen? Do you think that can work? Or do you think there's too much oxygen now um, that's been in contact with a beer? I don't know because it's 14% and it's it's spirit territory. Very, It's edging towards spirit territory. So I'm just wondering if I can get away with putting it in a 330 bottle. If not, I might take it to my new venture and share it with my new friends in the pub. Um, okay, that's what I might do. But comment anyway. Rating for the Rogue Rolling Thunder Imperial Stout 2017, nine month barrel aged in Rolling Thunder barrels. I love it, absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably in my top five. I'm gonna change that already. This is in my top three American Imperial Stouts, without a shadow of a doubt. It might even push to number one. The best ever American Imperial Stout that I have ever tried on the channel in seven years. And if you look back, I'm not gonna name any other Imperial Stouts on the channel, it would be, it would be rude to do that. But if you wanna have a look through my backlog of 3,700 videos, you can see that I've reviewed quite a few American Imperial Stouts and some of the best that are rated on rape beer. Not that that matters anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, this could very well be the best beer that I've ever had. The best Imperial Stout that I've ever had from America. I think it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And it just shows that Rogue Ales, although they do some of these lovely pink bottles behind us and they, they, they produce some marketing stuff to sell their beer at the very same time if rogue want to produce a stunning beer it's in their know-how they know how to do it and they've proved it today for me this beer is a 10 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.